So in this video tutorial, we're going to continue on with the uh, texturing for the tree. And we're going to start by creating a cavity texture for the tree using the ambient occlusion baking function. Uh, we're going to go ahead and use some test settings first so that we can get a faster result and set the quality to fastest. And we're going to lower the filter, set it closer to zero so that we can get a tighter result that gives you more of a sort of a cavity like effect. After we bake that, we're going to turn on the uh, flat lighting just to be able to review the pure texture as is without any lighting or shading. You can see how the cavity information is baked into the texture. Then if we want to actually darken that texture a bit, darken sort of the cavity areas a bit more, I'm uh, actually increasing the uh, shadow darkness there and rebaking the texture. So you just want to go through a couple of passes just to get the right settings that you need and then uh, we'll work on a final result. We'll set the uh, resolution and the um, uh, shadow resolution to uh, full here or to 2K and then we'll rebake just to be able to capture some more of the details. You can see there's finer details that are captured in the surface. Next we'll bring that both textures into Photoshop and drag them and drop them into the same canvas Right now I've got the AO map over the diffuse and we're going to just multiply those together and I'm just going to add some contrast to my texture here just so that uh, everything is not so dark and we just want to sort of darken the dark areas on the color texture map if you will so it's using it more as a cavity texture. We're going to load the uh, save composite back in as a texture layer in Mudbox. Go ahead and turn off the ambient occlusion filter now because we don't need that preview anymore. We can actually just look at how the the sort of cavity texture is working together with the diffuse color map for the res final result. Um, next we're going to go ahead and change some of the lighting just so we can get a preview, get a sense for how this texture is going to respond once it gets some real lights and shadows on it. You can go ahead and turn these shadows on and uh, review the tree with lighting and shadowing. And if we need to, we can export a high resolution uh, image directly from the Mudbox viewport using the new save screen image function. And so that gives an overview of how to go about texturing this tree and then previewing the tree and textures inside of Mudbox. Thanks.